Hey everyone, I'm Udi from Cute Girls Hairstyles and today we are going to do a very highly requested video of Purple Shampoo and Conditioner 101. So I was surprised when I announced that Heritage was coming out with purple shampoos. How many people DM'd me asking me questions, leaving questions in my comments about how to use it, when to use it, why to use it, etc. So I'm hoping that I can hit all of those questions and get all the answers to you guys today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, be sure to click right here and let's get to it. Okay guys, let's just dive right into it. Purple shampoo and conditioner. Um, obviously we launched them with Heritage. This was highly requested from you guys last year. So we came out with our variations and our formulations. Why do you use it? Well, let's do, let's do what is it? So purple shampoo and conditioner, it's basically just a regular shampoo and regular conditioner, but they're highly um, saturated with purple pigment. So violet colors. So you can see, you can see how purpley it is. Very purpley. Point in using this is that your hair, if you have blonde hair, if you have highlights in your hair like I do, if you have gray hair, sometimes even if you have red hair, you can get kind of um, a brassy, yellowy, orangey undertone to your hair over time. It's just caused by environmental factors, a lot of it. It's like hard water can deposit iron in your hair that leaves it a little bit orangey yellow. Um, the sun can bleach your hair, which can leave it a little bit orangey yellow. Any like thing like that. So there's lots of reasons. And if you've paid a lot to have your hair dyed, if you're a really beautiful blonde, or if you have highlights like I do, or if you've had gray, because even gray um, hair needs you know, to be refreshed and toned, you pay a lot of money to keep those colors, so you don't want that to happen. You want to extend the life of your color. So, purple shampoo is going to be your friend. Now, here's the thing. You guys know I'm totally transparent, so I'm going to just give you every, all the ups and downs to purple shampoo, and then you guys will know better how to use it and play with it. Purple shampoo, the positives are it doesn't dye your hair long term. It just kind of deposits the violet color in your hair, and you're not going to you're not gonna necessarily see the violet unless you're, if, if you're washing your hair with purple shampoo every day, which you should not do, you may see like a purple buildup over time that will make it look like slightly grayish, but it's not gonna like dye your hair bright purple. You're not gonna look like Barney after the first time you use it because it's a temporary color. It just deposits it on it, your hair. And what it does is like, if you think about the color wheel, I'll put up a picture. Purple is directly opposite yellow and yellow is right next to orange. So it kind of neutralizes those two colors, right? Um, yellow and purple neutralize each other. So if your hair has that brassy undertone and you layer purple on top of it, what your eye is going to see is a really beautiful, vibrant yellow as opposed to kind of that brassy yellow. It's gonna make it a little more like vibrant yellow and that really pretty blonde and more like an ashy color. So that's why people use purple shampoo. And that's kind of like the science behind it. Purple shampoo and purple conditioner, you do not have to always use them together. You can use the shampoo just by itself if that's how you prefer to do it. I prefer to use it with a conditioner just because I think it like kind of, you hit it with the shampoo and then you hit it again with the conditioner so it just kind of gives it a little bit of a double dose. And you should not use them every day. The reason is that to deposit the color has to kind of open up your cuticles a little bit. Um, clarifying shampoos do the same thing. You're probably using them all the time. It's not like this is a catastrophic thing. It's just that if you do it every single day, it can dry out your hair over time. We've added in a lot of really yummy things into the conditioner and shampoo. Plum seed oil, heart seeds, murmur butter, and jojoba to try to counteract that and help moisturize your hair as it's depositing the purple. But just in general, purple shampoo across the board, doesn't matter if you use mine or somebody else's, shouldn't be used on the daily. It is not a daily shampoo. This is something that I would recommend not rolling into your routine, honestly, more than twice a week. I think some shampoo bottles will say, like not mine, but like some shampoo companies will tell you three times a week, but I probably would say twice a week at the most. So you're gonna want your normal shampoo and then just use your purple shampoo periodically when you see like the brassiness picking up in your hair or your color looks a little flat. For those of you that have never used purple shampoo before and you're a little nervous because it looks very purple and you're scared, several ways you can, you can do this. One, take your regular shampoo and put a little, like a half size in your hand and then put a half size of the purple shampoo so you're mixing the two and use it on your hair for the first time to kind of like dilute it so that if you're really panicked, I promise you you're not gonna look like Barney. This is not how this stuff works, but if you're nervous about it, just try it. Like, I'm all about 
Different people's hair react differently. Different people's hair have different porosity. All of those things affect the way that this works in your hair. So if you wanna just test and be like uber conservative, this is how you can do it. Dilute it with your regular shampoo, or you can also just dip an end. Like you can just take an end of your hair and you know wash it with the shampoo and conditioner and see if you like the results. Or um, I would say if you're gonna just go full Nelly and like squirt it out and use it for the first time like I did, just maybe don't let it sit for on your hair forever. Like let it sit for two to five minutes and because the longer you let it sit, the more it deposits, so the more like color payoff you're gonna get too. So if you really want it to deposit heavily, you're gonna let it sit a little bit longer than that. And if you're nervous about it, let it sit not quite as long. So those are my suggestions for those of you that are new. I got in my DMs tons of people that have never tried this and were like, I'm nervous. So that's how I would go about testing it. Um, I love this, my girls love this, we all use it. I don't use it obviously on the daily. I don't actually only use it on my hair like maybe every two weeks, once a month. Um, I, so not even that frequently. And I just use my regular stuff in the interims when I'm not using the purple shampoo and conditioner. But it's beautiful. The purple, normally our conditioners are like kind of a white lavender color and we, that's, this is the shampoo I'll show you. So you can see it's really pretty purple. This is also just as beautiful and deep and really pigmented, which I love. I did personal pet peeves with purple shampoo is when it's so purple that your hands end up a little bit purple or the walls of your shower get purple. Um, so I tested thoroughly on mine to make sure that they would all rinse clean when you were done. It's very pigmented, goes into your hair amazingly, won't stain your skin, and um, also won't make a mess in your shower. So those are my pet peeves with purple shampoo. Does purple shampoo only work on blondes? No, it can also work on brunettes like mine that have highlights. If you naturally have dark brown hair and you have zero highlights in it, so it's probably not gonna be a great use for you because you don't have any blondes that you need to neutralize the brassy undertones on. Um, it can be used on gray hair. Gray hair does get brassy and have a weird undertone over time. And it can be used on red hair as well, especially if you have red hair that happens to be like an orangey undertone so an orangey yellow undertone, then you might wanna try this. But again, if you're nervous about it and you have red hair, just try tip dopping, dip, dip testing first. Hey you guys, that is the Purple Shampoo and Conditioner 101. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to leave questions for me in the comments below or comments on how you use it and what you found works for your hair to help other people because I feel like other people read the comments and then they learn from you guys too. So I love my Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. Seriously, they're half empty right now. You can tell I've already you know, I just got these and I've been using them. So super excited about the purple shampoo. If you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can click right here, make sure to ring the bell. And if you guys wanna see other great videos from us, click over here and we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.